Hey, what's up guys? It's Eric with FisherDrumming.com and I'm back with you on another lesson. I'm really excited to go over this one because I think it's going to be really helpful for you. This is on triplet fills that work well with swung grooves. Now, what I mean by that is, you know, we're not playing straight eighths and straight sixteenths. We're playing in a triplet grid. So our grooves um, have that swung feel, right? And we want to play fills that work with those grooves. If we're playing a straight 16th note groove, well, we could play straight 16th note fills and it'll feel like it fits in that, in that feel, in that groove, and in that grid. But if we're playing, you know, a halftime shuffle and we want to break out into a fill, well, you sure as heck don't want to play some straight 16th notes around the drum set. It's going to sound really off. It's not going to fit within the triplet feel, within that triplet grid. So we want to come up with some ideas on the set of how we can comfortably play uh, triplet fills that are going to go with those swung grooves like a halftime shuffle. So these fills are all going to be counted in eighth note triplets, which is going to be one and a two and a three and a four and a and let's look at fill number one, and this is gonna be using snare, our two toms, and our kick drum. This is a very practical fill that works in a lot of musical settings, so I think you're gonna enjoy this. So here it is nice and slow. One and a, two and a, three and a, four and a, and then crash on the one. Now, that's gonna make more sense when we put the ghost notes and the accents where they belong. First, let's learn the sticking and the orchestration. So let's take a look at it three notes at a time, right? Because we got 12 notes to work with in an eighth note triplet measure. So the first three notes would be one and a, uh, and we're just playing snare, snare, tom. Snare, snare, tom. Then we got ghost note, floor, ghost note, snare, then rack, floor, kick, okay? Again, snare, snare, tom, ghost note, floor, Ghost note, snare, rack, floor, kick, crash on the one. Okay, all together, here's what it looks like. Here's a couple notes on the articulation. We're accenting the first note with the snare. We're ghosting those left hand doubles, right? So those are always going to be nice and low. We don't want those to pop out, okay? When we come back on the uh of three with our right hand on the snare, we also want to accent that note, okay? And then we're just going to play those two tom notes after that. Regular, you don't need to really make those stand out too much. Just flow it, keep it nice and even with your kick drum, which is the last note, and then we start it over with the crash, okay, and get back into the groove. So that feels vanilla, right? Smooth, classic, always fits the music. So that's one you want to have in your back pocket. Just make sure you articulate it correctly and don't rush it. You want to stay on that triplet pattern so it goes right back into that swung groove really nice. Let's take a look at fill number two now. Fill number two, we're not using the toms on this one. We're sticking with hi-hat, kick, and snare. So you don't always have to use the toms when you're you know, trying to break out of the groove and do a fill. Remember, you can still do some creative things just using your hi-hat, kick, and snare. And this is also going to be 
you know, easy to fit in the music and just break up the pattern, get a little, make it breathe a little bit more. So starting off on one, we got hi-hat and kick together, opening our hi-hat just a little bit to get the sizzle, to get the S sound. We don't want to open up the hi-hat too much to where it's going to be clashing like a loud cymbal. We just want to get the S sound in there. So we got one, then a diddle, all right, two left hands. Now, it's double the speed as the eighth note triplet. That's 16th note triplet, so just make sure on the and you're starting that diddle. One diddle right, okay, that's one and a, one and a, all one fluid motion, want it to feel smooth, and then we got two coming in with the left hand. Two, hi-hat, kick. Two and a, okay? So that's the whole phrase, and then we're repeating that, the exact same thing for the rest of the measure. So the whole phrase is one and da, two and da, okay? Sizzle, diddle, right, left, hat, kick. Did you get that? Sizzle, diddle, right, left, hat, kick, okay? And then you just repeat that. Sizzle, diddle, right, left, hat, kick. Sizzle, diddle, right, left, hat, kick, one. We want that sizzle on the beginning, the diddle, ghost it, right, left can be accented. And remember, when we're just going that hat and kick on the and, uh, you really want to make that feel in time. If you get that off and you just do it without the triplet feel and you go straight, you know, something outside of the grid, it's going to feel really weird. So you got to make sure that all of these notes, even though we're playing some slower notes mixed with some diddles, you got to make it all smooth and line up in the triplet pattern. So now let's put it together with two tempos on the click and groove this out. So I love that fill number two because it feels kind of funky, you know, you're just sticking in the pocket still, but it lets it breathe so you can get back to the groove after. Now fill number three, we have some pretty cool stuff going on. We're using our toms again. Now this one's a little bit more of a statement. This is like, all right, here we're going into the next section of the song. Maybe it's a good transitional fill. It's a little bit bigger and it's a little bit more going on, although it's not really complicated at all. We're doing something very similar from the last fill. We're starting the exact same way we did as in fill number two with the open sizzly hi-hat, the diddle right left. Remember that was one and the two. So up to the two, exactly the same. Now, and the three, we're gonna be playing on our rack tom. Now we're gonna be playing a herta. Now a herta is two fast notes followed by two slow notes. Those two fast notes are just double the speed, double the subdivision as the last two notes. So that just sounds like this. And the three, and the three, okay? So we got right, left, right, left. Then we're moving down to the floor tom, playing almost the exact same thing, the herta, right, left, right, but then instead of hitting that left hand as we normally would do to end the herta, we're gonna displace that left hand with our kick. So we're gonna play 
right, left, right, kick, okay? So, so far that's one and a two and a three and a four. And then last two notes, two notes on the snare, and a, okay? So all together, one and a two and a three and a four and a, okay? Herta, almost herta, left hand, displace with the kick, two notes on the snare, into the groove. Let's play the whole thing together to a click. As you can see guys, these triplet fills really come in handy when we're playing a halftime shuffle or any type of swung groove where we have that triplet feel going on. Now remember, these are just a few examples that I like to use. Make it your own, change up the orchestration, change up the sticking pattern, make some new articulations, some new changes to really make it your own feel and style. And um, guys, if you want more lessons that are going to be in-depth training on how to become a better drummer, then you want to visit FisherDrumming.com and sign up for the all-access membership where you're just paying a small monthly fee and you have access to all the courses available. Now, if you don't want to do a monthly payment, there's also other options where you can just buy one course at a time. We have some really new exciting courses coming out soon, so stay tuned for that. You can also get a free practice loop when you sign up with your email on the website. So I'll see you guys on there. Remember guys, keep supporting me on the channel. I really appreciate the comments, the likes, the shares. Obviously, if you haven't already, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next lesson. Take care and have fun.